Hey everybody, Melissa here. So today I'm going to show you how to create a QR code in LibreOffice Impress, Writer, and Calc. Now this comes in really handy if you need to refer someone to a website, if you need to send them some place to pick up shared documents, or even send them to a portal to pay their invoices online. I cannot wait to show you how this works, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's start in LibreOffice Impress. Now we can put this on any of our slides we want to, but let's just say we want to put it at the end and say for more information, visit our website. So we'll go up to Insert, go down to OLE Object, QR and barcode. And in this case, I'm going to send them to my website. So I'm just going to put the URL in there. We can take the defaults here and tell it OK. Here is our QR code. We can click on it. We can move it wherever we want. We can make it bigger, make it smaller, or adjust it however we want it to be. In LibreOffice Writer, we have a letter we're sending to a potential partner. We've given them some information, but then we say find out more about our company by going to our website. So again, we're going to go to Insert, OLE Object, QR and Barcode, and I'm going to use my website. We can take the defaults and tell it OK. And again, we have the QR code. Click on it, and we can make adjustments. In LibreOffice Calc, we have an invoice. Now we can give them options to pay either by mailing it into our address or secure pay via our website. So we can insert a QR code for that. Again, insert, OLE object, QR and barcode. I'm going to use my website, but use whatever portal you're sending them to. You can take the defaults and tell it OK. Here's our QR code. We're going to make it whatever size we want it to be. And now if we go to File, Print Preview, this is what our invoice is going to look like with our QR code. Now they can access these QR codes from any smart device they want. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you have any questions, feedback, or idea for future tutorials. And be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.